Welcome to Espo in Finland for the penultimate stop on the International Skating Union's Grand Prix Series 2023. We start with the men's short program. Emima. Such a fun performer. Chun Sato, quad toe, triple toe, quad flip, and then a really easy and effortless triple axel. Kaomura from Japan. Huge quadruple toe loop. Just 18 years old, but already so much experience and confidence to any. The second of four disciplines competing with the pairs short program. And the first team to compete of the eight, Cheng Peng and Lei Wang. Fabian Haas and Nikita Volodin from Germany. Sara Conti and Nicolo Maci, the European champions. European champions here at the Espo Metro Arena. Performance value very evident on Sara in an emotional piece. Ryan Sumiyoshi from Japan. The triple flip, triple toe in that beautiful landing position. My skating nation is so passionate about their skaters. The youngest competitor in the women's competition, Cheon Kim. Great left outside edge on takeoff of the Lutz. Not so though for the flip. Two-time world champion, the first Japanese skater of any discipline to win back-to-back -back world titles alongside Shomanao. One of only four women who have won consecutive world championships. The best double axel in the business. Ice dance competition left to be competed. The first Finnish ice dance team to win the Finlandia trophy. Julia Turkia and Matthias Verslus. And now to Laurence Furni, Baudry and Nikolai Sorensen. Airplane move of great skating skill. Winners at Skate America and now this season can forever be introduced as world champions. Madison Chuck and Evan Bates. And a rotational lift to excite the audience here in Espo. Welcome to Espo in Finland for day two of the International Skating Union's Grand Prix Espo. Kevin Amos, instrumental in his own choreography, creating transitions like this. So much intensity, the judges looked like she couldn't even look. Shun Sato, wonderful performance dictating a skater that was obviously very, very prepared. Now to the leader after the short program. Wonderful quad cycle. And his attack of Titan free skate. He loves the anime. Said that he likes the speed of the program as it resembles the anime character liner. Kao Miura takes the title in Espo Finland, his first Grand Prix title. Now we look ahead to the pairs event. Maria Pavlova and Alexei Svechenko deliver an almost clean skate and Espo and you can see visibly exhausted Germany's Minerva Fabian Hassa and Nikita Volodin the story behind their free skate this year the idea that they try to find each other in their dreams finding and losing each other until the end Sara Conti and Nicolo Maci from Italy Great throw that time to Salco. Wonderfully passionate coach Barbara Luoni. The joy of last season not repeated for the Italians. She really does have the potential to be a contender for medals. She said that this program represents something close to her heart. Definite redemption for Amber Glenn from the United States of America. Rian Sumiyoshi, she's such a beautiful, beautiful skater. Her elegance in movement, backed up with 
more difficulty in the plan program content than any other. Comfort and security her coach consistently gives her. Not sure the words, but that encouragement has so often been the precursor to some brilliant skates for the world champion, Kaori Sakamoto. People are getting to their feet to stand in appreciation for the best skate of the women's event. The ice dance competition reserved for last because of the home skater involvement. Yulia Terkilia and Matthias Versus. She is just elegance personified. So a new season's best. But so comfortable in the Espo Metro Arena. What a program for Laurence Fourny, Baudry and Nikolai Sorensen. Madison Chalk and Evan Bates, the final competitors at the Grand Prix Espo. Worked so hard to create unique movement and not resting on the laurels of being now the current and reigning world champions. To confirmation of the expected results, Madison Chalk and Evan Bates lead the rest of the field.